Hi guys, this is Andy Buck from the ETM course here. This is a quick trauma tip. It can save you some trouble and some time. This is so you can learn how to attach this, your underwater seal drain tubing to the end of your chest tube safely and securely. Okay, so once your chest tube's in, it comes with this connector already attached to the tubing that goes to your drain. Once you're sure your tube's in the right place, you push it on. What you're gonna need next is four pieces of sleek. So this is sleek, plasticky orange tape. This is what the box looks like if you haven't ordered it before, Leucoplast Sleek. I'm not fussed about which brand you use, but the seven and a half centimeters is a good width to use. You're gonna need four pieces that are about a centimeter wide, seven and a half centimeters long. What I do, first of all, I put a bridge across between the two pieces, the tube, so it's connected to the tube, the connector, and the other tubing, roll it over. Get your second piece, put it across on the opposite side. That way, the joins between the two sections of tubing are clear, you can see where they are. What I then do to reinforce it is wrap another piece around one side circumferentially. That'll stop it getting pulled out from each side. And another piece circumferentially on this side. What this does is it creates a visible connection. What you don't wanna do is wrap this whole thing up with sleek because if the tube disconnects but it's still held on by a bit of tape, you're gonna start entraining air and you can cause a, re a recurrence of a tension pneumothorax in a patient with a chest strain in and that's not what you want. This way you can see all of the tubing, all of the connector into the drain tubing. You can see fluid going in and out. You can ensure there's no air leaks and that it's nice and secure. Okay, so there you go. That's a quick tip to help you connect your chest drains to your chest tubes. Uh, hopefully that'll help you avoid any disconnection problems because uh, they are a significant source of morbidity and potentially mortality if you mess that up. As usual, check with your local hospital policies and guidelines. Some hospitals have special ways they like their tubes connected. Some ICUs like it done a certain way. But if you don't have one, I recommend that method. I think it's a really great uh, trauma tip. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel for uh, more trauma tips. And if you like what you see, sign up to the ETM course, www.etmcourse.com and uh, register today.